the name of Jesus. Welcome to our core continuing order of religious education. We greet you in the matchless, miraculous name of Jesus Christ. We pray that you and your family are well. We pray that you are uh, com in communion with our Christ, that you are committed to the word, that you are thanking him in advance for all that he does in your life, in Jesus' name, amen. We're in Hebrews chapter six, and uh, one one of the controversies here is that uh, the context of Hebrews six is questionable in some circles, because the writer to the Hebrew says, therefore, leaving the principles of the doctrine of Christ, let us, Amen, go on to perfection. Now, he's talking about leaving the basics, the basic trainings of baptisms, tongues, salvation, and moving on to maturity. The word perfection is maturity. And, 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 and it's difficult for us to move on to maturity, leaving, not forgetting, not changing, not abandoning, but Hebrews is a book of confidence and faith. We have to learn to leave the basics and move on to growth. When we move on to growth, we are now taking in a whole nother repertoire of living principles and instructions. So what the writer says, he's first dealing with this matter of enlightenment, leaving the doctrine of Christ uh, let us, amen, go on, proceed, um, amen, to perfection. And, and, and the writer is saying, lay, lay, laying, not laying again the foundation, amen, of repentance from dead works. Now, what's dead is the law. The law is dead, okay? And we need to move on from the things of the law, move on from the sacrifices, move on from the different baptisms, the different days, the different observances, and move on to growth, move on to perfection of the doctrine, amen, uh, of, of Christ. We need to move on from the laying on of hands, move on from the resurrection of the dead, move on to eternal judgment, and 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 some people cannot move from these things. As we move on, uh, it takes a certain enlightenment. The word enlightenment is that it's illumination. God turns the light bulb on. Let's move on to perfection. What are the more important things of our faith? Love, liberty, and being led of God. Okay, that we need to leave things like tongues and baptisms, basic salvation, judgments, and all of that, and move on to the other things that perfect, mature us in Jesus Christ. So, so the, this, this matter of enlightenment is crucial. That when I got saved and I was dibbling and dabbling with uh, basic training, Basic training, basic things in the faith. Okay. Uh, did God forgive me? That's basic. Yes, God has forgiven me. Uh, is God for me? Yes, God is for me. Uh, does God love me? Yes, God loves me. Uh, is God with me? Yes, God is with me. So we got to move on from the basics. And through enlightenment of the scriptures, we move on to perfection, to maturity. So what is the maturity we move on to, we move, listen, from enlightenment to enablement. Lord, what I need to know now is what will enable me to be Christ-like, what will enable me to rest and not be rambunctious, what will enable me to be faithful and not fearful, what will enable me to live in peace and not live in a problematic mindset. So I need to move on I need to leave the elementary things back alone and keep progressing, growing in Christ. Every believer must examine themselves 
as to the faith. We must examine ourselves as to our fractures, our future. Uh, those things are in God's hands and all we can do is trust God, Jesus, and trust him alone. So we move from the enlightenment of the word to enablement. Lord, you have already enabled me to rest. You've already enabled me to pray and believe. You've already enabled me to walk uh, according to your word. You've already enabled me to trust you in all things. So the the enablement comes into play in, in this context, as we move on uh, into and towards, listen, perfection, maturity. When I was a child, I thought as a child, I understood as a child, but when I became a man, I put away childish things. I moved on, okay? I'm not struggling with my salvation anymore. I'm eternally saved. I'm not struggling with whether God can hear my prayers. I'm not struggling with, is God angry with me? I'm not struggling with, I've moved on from uh, through enlightenment to enablement. I am now able to do far exceedingly abundantly above all that God would ask or think to the only wise God, our Savior. So many of us need, need to move on. We've been stuck in gear. We've been at a detour too long. Spiritually, we need to move on. Lord, uh, I'm leaving the basics and I want to be blessed. Lord, I'm leaving this juncture of my life and I want to move to the next juncture. I want to trust you and you alone. I want to confide in you. I want to commune with you. Amen. I want to be committed to you. I want changes in my life. Moving on to perfection, moving on from enlightenment to enablement, and this enablement will bring encouragement. The encouragement of a believer is what God has moved them from the basics to the blessings. And 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 Peter says, desire, first Peter two two, the sincere milk of the word that you might grow thereby. Have you grown? Are you growing or are you stunt? Are you growing in faith? Are you growing, amen, in, in, in your walk, in your wisdom, in the word, in worship? How are you growing? And so the writer says, leaving these dead works, the law, leaving the, the, these, these things that are behind, leaving them behind, let's move on towards perfection, and, and, and the writer goes on to say, for this will we do if God permit, moving on from resurrections, moving on from him dying and, and being buried from uh, uh, in the grave. All of those things are basics. When I was in the military, I had to go through basic training. That was a, amen, that was a time of training. That was a time of learning. That was a time of transition. But then after basic training, I had to move on. And we have to move on spiritually from where we were to where we need to be. It requires enlightenment in the word, enablement by the spirit, and encouragement within myself. Lord, I want to leave where I was and I want to move on to perfection, maturity. Help me to become mature in my growth. Help me to become mature in my guidance. Help me to become mature in your glory. Are you moving on? Are you stuck in gear? Let's move on to perfection in Jesus. God bless you. Have a great day. We love you.